It does not feel like uh, spring warm. No. We have the spring showers Especially for sure. Especially not this week. Doesn't mean you can't celebrate the season with some adorable baby animals. Yes, Farm Babies is an annual rite of spring at the Minnesota Zoo, and it features chicks, piglets, lambs, ducklings, and even bunnies. Oh, the farm babies. She it's could probably fit three in there. What do you think? Yeah. Well, and then a few like little siblings, chicks. Like. Couple chicks. Couple oh, chicks and maybe sure. a bunny. Like, you yeah. have to go strategically yeah. by size yeah. of the animal. I think uh, chicks are the packing peanuts of the animal mm. world. So you just yeah. throw them little in there, make sure stuff doesn't move around. Back for another year at the Minnesota Zoo in Apple Valley. Farm Babies is an annual rite of spring in the area. Features dozens of sweet baby farm animals. Just want to keep it going. Yeah. October 29th is, yeah. Internet, or is National Kitten Day, by oh. the way. Did you oh. say that? You've been checking. So, someone tweeted me yesterday. was like, what about the kittens? I know. So I love it, yeah. That person just tweets what about the kittens to everybody's Twitter, oh. though, just constantly a question. Well, you know, now I make you want to sing along. I don't think anyone wants that. No, I don't no. think they do. One of the most popular musicals is Back in Town. Yeah, Grease is the word over at Chen S and Dinner Theaters, and the star of the show, stars of the show, are with us today. Yes, Eris, so us. how fun is this show for you guys? It's incredible. Um, yeah. The group of people we have are amazing, uh, so much fun to be mm -hmm. But a monster. He came from an area where there was um, a school, and he and his buddies that were kind of free roaming would go to the school and play with the kids at recess every day. Little grade school kids. A grade right? school yeah. kids, and yeah. so the kids named him Monster. Okay. I think because of his size, he of was course. so big. He's a big dog. But they, the kids, just loved him. Very and friendly. Very friendly. So gentle, mm -hmm. just a tender little doggy, a tender big dog. Yeah. So right. he's about 74 pounds. Right, and he's shepherd a, mix of some we'll sort. Probably grow. Yeah, I think he'll fill out a little. But he's still a little thin, and he's been described as a young dog with an old soul. He's about and a year old, you said? He's about a year old, mm -hmm. and I would guess he'd be at least 80 pounds and yeah. just a few more pounds. He's and to fill out over here a little bit. Very gentle, really laid back. So I think he'd be a great family dog, and everybody down here has enjoyed petting him so far. And would far. you recommend uh, somebody maybe who maybe has a little more acreage or. Um, well, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but Monster might like to run. Yeah, but so far he's been really pretty quiet Seems and pretty, pretty laid and pretty laid know. back. Yeah. So I'm I just think, glad he's looking at the camera. I think he would probably adapt to any situation, really. Okay. And you can change his name if Monster doesn't exactly. Quite work Maybe you could call you. him Monty or Monty. something. You Look could like name that. him anything you like. Cute that the kids pick the name. Right. You know, that exactly. Is good. Well, if you want to learn more about Monster, you can call the number on your screen at 651-982-0240. The Northwoods Human. Main society. Mm -hmm. People can come, somebody could come and take Monster home today, right? Exactly. We hope Boy, they do. Yeah, he's a great, great dog. Thanks, oh, he's Kathy. So sweet.